Welcome to NextGen Tesla. The year 2025 is already shaping up as a decisive moment for Tesla's robotics ambitions. With the company beginning to draw sharper attention to its humanoid project Optimus, for a long time Tesla was seen as lagging. Slightly behind certain startups that had managed to bring working bipedal robots into the field before them, companies like Unitree Robotics launched their basic G1 units priced at roughly $16,000. While Agility Robotics and other emerging firms had begun offering prototypes too, interested partners for prices as low as $10,000, their test programs, which were carried out in warehouses and real-world environments, often seemed more advanced than Tesla's carefully staged showcase clips. Because of this, when early rumors circulated about Tesla preparing to market Optimus, at a starting cost of around $30,000, the public response was underwhelming. Many dismissed the idea, reasoning that such a price was well beyond what most households could justify, especially when rival machines were being sold at much lower entry points. The general mood was that Optimus would remain an exciting but Impractical luxury item for the foreseeable future. That perception was dramatically shaken during the highly publicized grand opening of the first. Tesla Diner in Los Angeles. At this event, Elon Musk surprised both fans and skeptics by revealing that the base model of Optimus would not cost $30,000 after all. It would instead be available for just $18,999. It was a shocking announcement that seemed to flip the script overnight no one had expected such a price point. And it immediately reframed the conversation about whether Optimus might become a mass market product sooner than anticipated. Still, observers urged caution. While under $19,000 is far, more approachable, achieving that figure almost certainly means the robot will come with trade-offs. The most affordable version is expected to have fewer high-end sensors, perhaps a smaller battery pack, and a reduced set of advanced functions. In all likelihood, it is being designed primarily to handle simple, repetitive tasks rather than the full range of complex, human-like chores that some fans have dreamed about. For people who were hoping for a real-life hybrid of science fiction icons like C-3PO and R2-D2, the pared-down entry model may feel like a compromise. Nevertheless, Tesla confirmed that deliveries of Optimus are scheduled to begin in the first quarter of 2026, which strategically aligns with the wider rollout of its diner and drive-in concept across different cities. Multiple configurations of the robot are expected, with the company offering higher-end versions at greater cost, allowing buyers to choose models that match their personal or professional needs. To truly appreciate what Tesla is attempting, it is worth looking at the specific ways Optimus has been streamlined. The unique features that set it apart and whether this balance between affordability and capability really positions it as the robot that could enter everyday life. The first real glimpse into this balance came during the opening of Tesla's retro-themed diner on July 21, 2025. Located at 701 Santa Monica Boulevard in Hollywood, more than just another supercharging hub. The diner combined 75 to 80 V4 charging stalls, with a restaurant designed to evoke the 1950s Americana style, complete with neon touches, checkerboard patterns, and a retro-futuristic flair. Two enormous outdoor LED screens played drive-in movies. While customers could order food from the touchscreens inside their cars and have it delivered in playful Cybertruck-shaped boxes, the novelty of a Tesla-run diner already drew plenty of media attention. But the real centerpiece of the event wasn't the menu or the decor. It was the introduction of Optimus as part of the service team. Guests were astonished when the robot began handing out tubs of popcorn to diners. Blending futuristic technology with the nostalgic atmosphere of the location, clips of this debut spread quickly online, especially after Musk himself posted one. 2x in the footage, Optimus is shown scooping up popcorn with deliberate precision carefully gripping the tub and handing it to a customer while giving a cheerful thumbs up and wave. Its movements were cautious and slower than a human's. But the striking part was the smoothness of execution. There was no fumbling, no spilling, and no awkward stumbles. The robot managed the entire sequence with competence, highlighting the significant progress Tesla has made in real-world dexterity. At one moment, the robot even adjusted its grip instinctively after realizing it had squeezed the paper tub too tightly. 
That small correction demonstrated a combination of awareness and responsiveness that impressed engineers and casual observers alike. Such behavior suggested that Optimus was not merely following a rigid pre-programmed script, but was actively interpreting feedback from its sensors and adjusting accordingly. The simple act of delivering popcorn became a showcase of deeper possibilities. If the robot can handle food service tasks in a crowded environment, one can easily imagine it scaling up to more demanding roles such as cooking meals, it's helping with laundry, or even assisting elderly people with mobility or medical needs. Musk has repeatedly insisted that within a few years this level of autonomous functionality will become normal. In the diner demonstration, Optimus also engaged in social gestures, shaking hands, waving to customers, giving playful fist bumps, and even making a heart shape with its hands. These touches of personality transformed the interaction from a mechanical transaction into something that felt personal and almost human. Guests noted that Optimus responded not only to direct commands, but also to verbal praise, mirroring body language with subtle gestures. The experience suggested that Tesla's robot is being designed to serve not simply as a tool, but as an interactive companion. It's capable of fitting into social environments without seeming intimidating. One interaction highlighted the limits of the current model. When asked if it could speak, the robot replied with a simple, not today. That brief answer may have been scripted, yet it underscored that Optimus communicates primarily through nonverbal cues for now. Still, even without a developed voice interface, the robot managed to connect effectively with people by using gestures. It listened to instructions, processed tones of encouragement, and responded with actions that conveyed friendliness and cooperation. This mix of mechanical efficiency and approachable social presence is at the core of what Musk believes. Will make Optimus not just useful, but desirable, in fact. Musk has gone on record declaring that Optimus will be the best humanoid robot in the world. Tesla's engineers have been running extensive tests to validate this claim. And reports suggest the robot is already performing far better than expected for its age. The company is not framing Optimus as a machine limited to domestic chores. Rather, they envision it as a multi-purpose assistant that could eventually integrate into nearly every aspect of daily life. Musk has even speculated that humanoid robots could represent an industry worth over a trillion dollars annually, with Tesla alone eventually producing millions, if not billions, of units worldwide. From his perspective, Optimus is not a novelty item. It's the beginning of a massive industrial revolution in which robots perform the endless stream of repetitive, menial, and even hazardous tasks that currently consume human time and labor. Pitch is straightforward. For roughly $20,000, households could effectively buy back their time. Optimus could handle laundry, cooking, cleaning, lawn care, pet supervision, and possibly even tutoring for children. Musk has also hinted that in the long run, robots could become income-generating assets, deployed to perform paid tasks in the wider economy, yet not everyone is convinced. Some critics argue that even if the price dropped to $10,000 or $5,000, they would remain uninterested if the robot ended up being little more than an expensive gadget with limited capabilities. Skepticism remains high, in part because so many futuristic products have overpromised and underdelivered in the past. But Tesla's argument rests on practicality. Life is busy and time is short. With only 24 hours in the day, much of which is taken up by work and commuting, household chores often feel like an exhausting burden. The dream scenario is coming home after a long day to find dinner cooked. The floor is vacuumed, and the laundry folded all handled by Optimus, while you relax on the couch with a drink it fetched from the fridge. That vision, while still aspirational, is what Tesla is trying to sell. It echoes the company's earlier trajectory with electric cars, where initial skepticism gave way to mainstream acceptance as the vehicles proved themselves in performance. Cost and convenience. Tesla's track record supports the idea that it can popularize disruptive technology. From the launch of the first Model S in 2013 to mid-2025, the company has delivered over 8.12 million electric vehicles worldwide, 
It's fundamentally reshaping the automotive market in just over a decade. If Optimus begins deliveries in 2026, Tesla has another 11 years before 2037 to potentially reach robot sales in the billions. Musk himself estimates that global demand for general-purpose humanoid robots could surpass 20 billion units over time with roughly 8 billion serving as personal assistants in households and the remainder filling industrial roles. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.